friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In our last tutorial, we had completed the menu screen and the make screen part of our flashcards app. And today we will be completing the rest of the app that is the flashcard screen where we actually show the flashcards. Okay, so go back to designer view and choose flashcard screen. Okay, so we'll be doing the user interface of the flashcard screen first. In the screen's properties, make align horizontal center and align vertical center. Make the background color black. From user interface, drag and drop a button onto the viewer. Rename it to flashcard button. And make the background color yellow. And make font bold, font size. 30, make the height 50% and make the width fill parent. Change the text to make cards first. From layout, drag and drop a horizontal arrangement below this flashcard button. In its properties, make align horizontal and align vertical both center. Make the height 15% and width fill parent. Now, from user interface, drag and drop a button inside this horizontal arrangement. Rename it to PREVBTN, short for previous button. Make font bold. Font size 20, make the background color yellow and change the text to PREV previous. Now select this button and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V on the keyboard for Windows or Command C, Command V for Mac OS. Rename it to Restart button. And change the text to restart. Again, select the button and duplicate it. Rename this one to menu button. And change the text accordingly. Again, duplicate. Rename the last button to next button. And change the text to next. From storage, drag and drop a tiny db component onto the viewer. Now this user interface design is completed. So go to the block section. We need a few global variables. So the first global variable is a logic variable. That is, it can have the value true or false. And it is for knowing whether the top of the card is showing or the bottom of the card is showing, okay? So this is a logic variable and initially it is true. Again, right click, duplicate. Now this one is a flashcards list. So this is an empty list block from lists. And the third variable is for knowing the position of our flashcard, that is, which one is showing. So, this is the flashcard number. And in the beginning, the first card is showing. So, we initialize it to 1. When the screen is initialized, so get the flashcard screen. Initialize event, we have to load the cards that have been stored in the TinyDB using the make card screen. And we also have to show the first card's word to the user in our big flashcard button. So, get the setter for our flashcards list by hovering our mouse over it. And we are going to now call the TinyDB get value procedure and here remember that our tag needs to be exactly the same that we used for 
storing the flashcards in the TinyDB. So to make sure that we are using the same one, go back to make screen, copy this, go back to flashcard screen and paste it. Okay, so that there is no spelling mistake. Now this expects a list, so it should get an empty list if there is no flashcards in our tiny DB. Then only if there is a flashcard, at least one card in our list, we should show that word to the user in the flashcard button. So we need to check to avoid list errors. So go to control and get the if then block. And here, get the logic not block and from lists get the is list empty block. So if the list is not empty, which list? This list. So get the get block for it. Only then we are going to show the first card. Okay, now we have to show the card, the first card. So Go to flashcard button and get its set text block. And we are going to set it to the word. Now remember, each item in our flashcards list is actually a list too, with the first index containing the word and the second index containing the definition or whatever the answer is to the question. So we have to get that. So go to lists and Get the select list item block and right click on it and duplicate it. Okay, and here the list is our flashcards list. So, first we have to get that two itemed list according to whatever the flashcard number is. So, in our case, in the very beginning, it will be one, so automatically we will be showing the first card, but instead of Putting in one here, it's better to use the global variable because we know that it is one in the very beginning. And the index, now this is important. We have to show the word, the index will be one, okay? Because the first index contains the word and the second index contains the definition. Okay, so plug this in. And since we will be doing this thing for the next card, for the previous card, whenever those buttons are clicked or when the flashcard restart button is pressed. So how about we put this in a procedure, okay? So I'm going to go to procedures and get this procedure and let's call it show flash card word, okay? And let's put this in here. And because we are showing the word, we should set this to true too, okay? So go to logic and get the true block, okay? So this is our complete process that has to be done whenever we are showing the top card, the word side of the card to the user, okay? Depending upon whatever the position is, okay? Just go to procedures and call this procedure from inside here. Now we have encapsulated this code, put it inside a separate place, so code change is easier. So we just need to make the code changes here and just call the procedure wherever it is needed, okay? Now when the flashcard button is clicked, we want to show the other side of the card too. So let's duplicate this procedure and just change a little bit inside it. Now here we want to show the show flashcard definition, okay? And we know that the definition is in the second spot and we have to make this false because whenever the definition is showing, this means that the card bottom is showing. So card top showing is false. Because we have put our code here, so now this code will become simpler. So when the flashcard button is clicked, what we want to do is that if our list is not empty, so this is important, we need to check again. 
right click and duplicate if our list is not empty then depending upon what side is showing so we want to do an if then else block from control so here we are going to check whether the top card is showing so if i go to variables i get the get block and choose card top showing so if the top card is showing that is the word side is showing this means that we need to invert it now okay so we need to call show flashcard definition okay so just go to procedures and get this side so it will take care it will show the other side of the card and it will also make card top showing false so the next time when the button is pressed we will be going into the else side and here we are just going to be calling the top card that is show the flash card word okay so let me go over it again we made two procedures one for showing the top of the card that is the word side and the other for showing the definition side of the card that is the bottom okay so when the flash card button is clicked if there are any flash cards then show the definition side if previously we were showing the top side otherwise show the top side again okay so when the next button is clicked so get its click event when the next button is clicked first we need to check that do we have enough flashcards in our list to go to the next flashcard so what we're going to do is that from control we are going to get the if then block and here from math we are going to get the equal to block and we are going to check if less than and what is less than the flash card number so get the get block the flash card number is less than the number of flash cards so how can we get the number of flash cards go to lists get the length of list block and here right click duplicate okay so if flash card number is less than the number of total flash cards this means we can add a one to the flash card number and then we can show the top card okay so go to math get the plus block and go to variables get the set block and here set is flash card number plug in the plus card right click on the flash card number to duplicate it and then add a one to it so we have added a one to the flash card number now just call this procedure show flash card word so see we didn't have to write this entire code again because we have put it in the procedure now in the previous button we have to subtract a one from the flash card number so get the click event and again we need to check something so go to control get the if then block and here we have to check if our flash card number is greater than 1 because if it is greater than 1 only then we should subtract a 1 from it what we can do is that go to math get the equal to block change it to greater than go to math get the number block make it 1 and right click on flash card number to duplicate it so if flash card number is greater than one we are going to subtract a one from it so go to variables get the set block choose flash card number go to math and get the minus block duplicate the get from here duplicate the one from here okay now we have subtracted a one from the flashcard number so just call show flashcard word if the restart button is clicked we would want the cards to restart from the beginning and as an added feature we would like them to shuffle for better memorization so the cards are coming in randomly and not in the same order so it will be better for learning
okay so again this is optional you can skip the shuffling part if you don't want it in your app we need a procedure for the shuffling part so go to procedures get the one that returns a result okay and we are going to call it shuffle okay and it takes an input so drag this input here and change this to this x to list okay and what is the result whatever list is given to it we want to make a new sorted list from it so go to lists and get this make new sorted list where item 1 precedes item 2 so get this one make sure that you get this one and here list is this list the list that we provide to this procedure and the order of sorting is a random event and that is why we will end up with a shuffled list so what is the random event that a random fraction generated is less than 0 0.5 so get this random fraction block and from math get this equal to block and make this less than and plug random fraction on the left hand side and on the right hand side is a math block which says 0 0.5 so this is a nice way of shuffling a list okay which you can use in your other projects too now get the restart button click event and when the button is clicked what we want to do is we want to set our flashcards list to a shuffled version of the list so go to procedures and get this shuffle procedure and here the list is the flashcards list too so get the get block and choose flashcards okay now set the flashcard number to one because we want it to start from the very beginning and now again we are reusing our procedure that is called show flashcard word last if the menu button is clicked we are just going to call from control the open another screen block and choose screen one from here so this is done and this entire flashcards app is completed i hope you like this video and you make a very cool flashcards app to use personally or to share with your friends and family and this is also a very nice app to publish to the play store please like and share my video with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the great projects that i have planned for you thank you for watching my video have a good day and goodbye